Hey guys, Cosmo here. Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Uh, for this video, we just barely entered the time compressed world and we're gonna just keep going on with the main quest. So we just barely got here. Uh, as soon as you start, you should be fighting a whole bunch of sorceresses from across time. Uh, the first couple of them aren't very difficult, but the very last one hits like a truck, so you just gotta be careful for that. And of course, uh, if you want, you can have mud on Squall, and you can steal a bunch of items from these guys. I don't really care, it's the end of the game, I'm just trying to hurry up and get it done, but if you want some really useful items, be my guest. How oh, cool, they teleported us to, uh, Timber. I don't even have draw on anybody because I'm just that lucky at this point. Like, I got have so much high tier magic, I can just use to kill anybody. Beach. Bam. Oh, jeez, these guys are chumps. I do like this reuse of uh, the assets though, it's just putting us in the different spots all over the world. Because like right now we're in the training grounds in the garden, and we're just in Esther like it's fun. Now we're up in the snow fields. There's the, the sorceress that hits like a truck, so that's the one you gotta be kind of careful of. Hey, now we're at the front steps of the garden, that's cool. Yeah, she can burn. Now we're in the D district prison. Now we're in the fire cabinets. Yeah, I really like this. This is fun. <laughs> that was that looks really goofy. Like she's looking like she's trying to scare me, like she's a ghost. I don't like how much the background is shaking. Well, that's making me very nauseous. Oh boy. Oh boy, alright, now we gotta now we gotta hurry up. That five is she's casting ultimate, that actually really hurts. 
Sorcerer's bug get run over by a sad train. That was a fucking sentence. Jeez. Ooh, yeah, that's much better. Fifty-five AP. That's actually really good. And here we are, Adia's house. So from here, there's a couple things we can do. Um, because you can actually go and explore the world pretty much if you would like. Oh, I'm back in the house. Oh, oh well. I guess we'll pop. Oh, okay. I guess I was stuck. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. I love that so much. And there's Old Spirit's Council. Some, it looks like something straight out of Castle Can I even go back in? No. I don't know. Anyways, once you're in this time compressed world, there are a bunch of things you can do. Uh, you can get back to the Ragnarok. Um, you, uh, on board the Ragnarok, there's members of a CC group, the Card Club group. Um, if you fought King earlier in the game and won, Um, getting to Ragnarok is kind of a pain in the butt. So on this chain, there's going to be these weird, like, portal thingies over here. Yeah, these things. And each one takes you to a different spot. So the lowest one takes you to Galbadia's Wilburn Hill area near the uh, missile base. The middle one takes you to Sentra's Serengeti Plains, close to Central Ruins. And the highest one takes you to the coast of Esther, on the edge of Grand Didi Forest, which is close to the Chocobo Forest. So, in order to get to the Ragnarok, you'd have to go into, um, let's see. Yeah, so to get to it, you want to take the middle portal, um, then you can enter a Chocobo Forest there on the central continent, and then actually be able to ride a chocobo and then find on the mini map uh, the red dot which is the Ragnarok and then run the chocobo across the ocean you can get into the Ragnarok fly around and then you can find the queen of cards if you feel like doing that side quest right now um, where the uh, escape pod crash site was where you found Pyatt and Disagree uh, that is in the Abaddon Plains just south of Esther if you feel like doing all that if not you can just continue And then we're just gonna get right on into Old Samisha's Castle. And then, yeah, I'm actually gonna upsave just in case I do feel like doing all that stuff later. Also, listen to this music, isn't it awesome? The music in this game is so good. 
like the weird organ and flute, and then it turns demonic. Ah, oh, that's cool. touched the second party like at all this game. So yeah, so this basically saying we can't use items, magic, GF, draw, command, limit break, resurrection, or save the game at this point. So as long as we're inside the castle, they're sealed. So we have to go around and doing a bunch of boss fights while completely sealed off. So a good thing you can do here, so you can still attack, of course. Um, a good thing you can do here is you can still use um, elemental and status attacks on like Squall and stuff. So you can actually junction drain to Squall's main attack. Where is that? Being magic. Yeah, like right here, if he... I don't have drain, but oh, I do have a little bit of drain. So that way, every time he attacks, he um, life steals a bit. He'll get a little bit of health back. Which actually is not a bad idea. Let me do that. Also, another thing too is once you leave out the front door, you're not inside the castle anymore. So you can break the seal, heal up, save, and then go back in. And that's super useful as well. But we're just gonna get right on into it. So, right here at the front should be the Sphinx. Yep, that's it. So we're just gonna punch it in the face. So we just gotta go around killing a bunch of bosses trying to get all of our seal powers back. Misha's castle is a little confusing. 
Let's not work. I could have fought him, but like his physical defense is so high, it would have just taken four better. And again, there's no point in me leveling. I can't grind right now, there's no point. Like a full magic, full thi uh, things. Okay, yeah, this is like. So, as we walk in the Chandler, it's gonna plummet to the ground below, forcing the impact to spare your party, but also destroys the rusted trap door below the chandelier, opening it to the wine cellar that would get us to the trap. Because Zell was like the only one who got messed up. To the whatever weird lab laboratory thing this is. Like it, it looks like a weird lab, even though it's just a wine cell. Yeah, this is a try point boss. He's also super easy, he's only got about 20,000. So, we should be able to kill him in just a couple. So he's saying, okay, whatever I don't use, I don't like. Hey, Gilgamesh showed up. Cool. So let me show you the reason why people don't like it. So each of those four swords, he basically has a percent chance to use a different attack. Oh. Yeah, 5,300 damage. Cool. Okay, each weapon he has has a chance to use um, he has a chance to use so he only has like I think like a 10% or something like that chance to use Zontensuke which Odin had a natural like 25 that's why a lot of people don't like him is because you have a less chance of it just automatically ending the fight the reason I like Gilgamesh is because it's not just the same thing every single time you right? can show up and he can you know, you can just do like a little bit of damage, you can grab his caliber, do a lot of damage, you can do a big OE attack, like, he's got a bit more to him, it's not, and you've been, I've been using Odin the whole game too, so he's just kind of gotten a little stale at this point, you know what I mean? And since I'm doing more of a 100% run, and I'm going to just like, I'm trying to go through all the people, I'm going to go through all the But of course, you know, however you guys want to play, you can pick whichever one you want. I don't know what's up with the resurrection thing. I don't know if I need my like, magic and resurrection for it to count, but it's... Ooh, rocket engine. Yeah, let's do magic. And then let's see if it works. Oh, it does not work. Down. Okay. So yeah, you gotta go outside, it looks like. Which, I mean, that would be cool if, like, you walk in and the gates are sealed and, like, you have to just deal with it. But the fact that I can just walk out and resurrect kind of takes away the whole point of them taking away your abilities. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, they're trying to make the game harder, but then give you an out that immediately makes it easier. And it's dead. Because, like, this is the final dungeon, and the whole point of a dungeon being a video game, Deep Dungeons and Dragons, whatever, is it's supposed to weaken your party before you get to the final boss. And the fact that it just allows you to step outside, heal up, like, all the way, and then just go, like, keep going, completely nullifies the fact that... Where am I? What's going on? But anyway, yeah, it just completely nullifies the fact that, like, my abilities are sealed. Oh, fuck! Alright, can I, can I just... Please put that on the spell. Okay, good. Come on, run away, yes. I do not want to fight him right now. He goes to take forever to kill. Come on, oh, there we go, cool. And we're back. 
And now, see, we just step outside, magic's lifted, so I just pop on over the zone, and full life revival. Bam, problem solved. Like, come on. <laughs> Alright, so the third boss we're going to be working towards is something called Krista, but it says not to do it for a while for some reason. Alright, so I guess we got to switch now. Switch to the other party. Uh, pull the lever below the chandelier? Hmm. The door around here is somewhere. What the hell is that? That's a weird noise. Let's go this way. I think I could have just done it all with the main party, honestly. It says there's a lever somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. It's a ginormous thing in the background. Oh boy. There we go. Switch to the other members. And now we can go up top and cross the ship. To go fight Krista, the third boss. Lobra, little goo monster. So not having resurrection is gonna be kind of pain in the butt for this one. So he's only got about 16,000 damage, he's immune to ice, he's flying, so you can't hit him with an earthquake or anything like that. Um, but his crystal body provides a super high defense, so, you know, Meltdown would be good. I don't have access to Meltdown because I didn't take uh, GF, so I can't summon Doom Train to uh, Oh! Okay. That hurt. Also, it looks like he just counterattacks every time, too, is another problem. But I have the recover and revive ability, so it should be too. Yeah, I'm only doing a thousand to it. Oh boy. And then he hits me for 4300. Okay. Yeah, that's that's kinda tough. You know what? I can't do it because I don't have access to it. I'm dumb. <laughs>
Christ, she's dying already. Like, <laughs> damn. I like that, since it was crystal or ice pretty much, it just shattered on it, but that's good. Cool. Oh, we're like halfway done, ish. Elemental defense times four is a great ability. And now we're gonna get resurrection. Just in case. For this next part, we get a puzzle. So I'm just gonna step outside real quick and save. Come on, there we go. gotta go find some place called the gallery and solve the, puzzle, the painting puzzle. Wherever the hell that is. Let's try left. I don't think it was right, but I'm probably wrong knowing me. I get lost way too damn easy. That door opened up way before I got there. That was creepy. <laughs> It is to the right. I knew it. Really? Two, two broke blowers? Come on. Um, if you do want to sit here and explore, though, there are a bunch of hidden draw points all over the place. There's Flare, Meteor, Slow, Dispel, Ultima, Holy, Cura, Curaga, Full Life, Aura, Meltdown, Triple, and Stop spread all throughout this whole place. So just mash like, up against walls and just keep trying to get to those draw points. If you really want some, the Meltdown, for me at least, would be very good at this point in the game. Because I don't have any. Should have stocked up on some on the island, but hey. Oh, this is an easy fight, too. That's a mesmerized hand. I forgot the saw. What is this? Hmm.
here we go. Here's the art gallery. Yeah. So there's two floors worth of paintings. Um, upon examining them, you discover that all but one painting has a title. Your task is to discover the title of the large painting by combining the titles of the other paintings in the gallery. So you have to look at all 12 paintings. Yeah, the title is... We have no idea. So yeah, we're supposed to go around, find all 12 of the paintings, and look at all of them in or and kind of put them together and try and figure it out. So yeah, Ignis, Fire. So it really, like, you can't just look at the paintings and figure it out. And then Dancha, Flood. There's actually a clue in here as well that you'll need. Eudicium? Judgment? Getting real biblical, that's for sure. Enter the Gilliam sleep. Ooh, a behemoth. That's kind of hard to fight, too. So. No. <laughs> I wonder if having encounter none of them would work. I would say it doesn't, just because it's Ultimatius Castle and the fights spice things up a bit. Okay, who knows? And then we've got Vigil the Watchman. Vividarian the Garden, which could probably mean garden as in. Garden, which probably means like the school garden. Viator messenger. That's a pretty cool picture, actually. I love that one. Venus, love. Venus is the god of love in Greek mythology. Then we got Xiphius, swordfish. That's, yeah, clearly that's not it. <laughs> Zara Helene, red clothes? That can't be it either. Just, the hell? And then Zistus tree lined road. I mean, these are alright paintings, but like, what in the hell? And then Ian Naudix, cowardice. That's cool. Now, for the last step, we look at the clock. There should be a clock around here somewhere. Swordfish again. So yeah, it said there's a way you can look at the clock etched in the floor below, but on the second floor. So oh, it's on the other side. Good old camera shifts every five seconds. There we go. So, yeah, you, you don't actually click on it, you just look. So there's one pointing to the eight, and one pointing to four. Now you probably have absolutely no idea. Oh, and also the bottom one's pointing to six. Yeah, so we've got eight, three, and six. So all three numbers correspond with one of the paintings around here. Now the tricky part is the clock, the clue from the clock actually represents, has like a second clue inside of it. So the V represents the letter V and the I is obviously for I. So we find all the ones that have V and I in them. So Vigil, Vividarium, Viator, pretty much, Intervigilium, things like that. So, so V-I-I-I -I -I stands for Vividarium, because it has a V and I and I and then an I in it, pretty much. And then 3 stands for Intervigilium, I-I-I-I, I know it's weird, and then V-I stands for Viator. It's a hell of a fucking puzzle. Like, 
Oh boy, that would be super difficult. So, the answer is Vividarium et Intervigilium et Viator. So, Vividarium, Intervigilium, Viator. Or, in the garden sleeps a messenger. It's a hell of a puzzle, I know. Like, I would not have been able to figure that out on my own. That would have been fucking hilarious if I was trying to figure that out by myself. Like, my friend Tony would have laughed his ass off trying to watch me do that. So, this is the boss trauma. He's got 34,000 health. He's weak to wind. Can also create dromos, which are miniature versions of itself. It says mega, main attacks mega pulse cannon that can hit everybody. Um, the dromos also have little pulse cannons, but they're not as hard. Oh, really? A random counter? With like one of the easiest monsters in the game? Are you kidding? Me? Come on, dude. There's a boss like right there. He's just watching this happen. This is hilarious. Now we fight Trauma. Also, I think Trauma is just such a great name for a boss. I think it's awesome. So it can't really do much except auto attack, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, well, 34,000 health is going to be in there. His design's not bad either. I like the big arms that he's got, his big forearm thingies. See, this would be easier if I had GF and I could summon Doom Train to cut his vitality, that way I'm doing double damage, but it is what it is. As long as I keep uh, killing those dromos and he focuses a whole turn on those things, I'll be fine. Oh, that's good. He shoots it out of his leg. Look at that. That was hella weird. And it actually did almost nothing to me. Yay, crit. Pulse cannon to hit for a lot more, like four to five thousand. Alright, and now I'm actually gonna unlock GF. That way I can cast Doom Train on the last couple and increase my damage output a little bit. Because the next couple is going to be a Red Giant and a Gargantua. The Red Giant, if you remember, has some goddamn defenses. Like, he is stacked. Item draw. Really don't need that draw, so let's just do GF. That might be better. And then, yeah, you got GF, so you're fine. Oh. So, 
don't switch, we're just gonna keep on going down. Now we're gonna go through this door here on the left, this doorway, I guess. And then we gotta get the key from this prisoner guy. What the hell is that? Oh, there's Red Giant. Oh, because the cell locked us inside. Okay. So this guy's got a flat 30,000. So, we're gonna summon Ninja. Because, of course. Like, it could be cool in some of the dragon if I fight this iron giant, but why would I do that when I just punch it? Ooh, yeah, 7600, and he's blind, so he basically can't hit me. Punch the iron giant. And he's dead. <laughs> like, this shit is not hard. You, you get so OP in this game, it makes it trivial. Like, even Ultima Weapon. I one shot Ultima Weapon. Like, it's crazy how much damage you can do if you do it right. Like, sure, if you're just playing it casually, like, this is probably difficult, but, like, you can actually try. Break this game. Diamond armor, cool. Yay, we can do more stuff now. Like, do a limit break. Now we can get the hell up out of here. I know, we needed the key to get into the room that locked us in for the key. It's super dumb. Let's, let's explore a bit. What's in here? Armor King, okay. Is this a lever thing on the right? What is this? No? Okay. Well, now it's telling me to go all the way back now to the front foyer. You know, this is the one thing I always thought was weird about castles, like medieval castles and stuff. Why does it have a million rooms? Like, there's some rooms that just connect to other rooms. Like, that's its entire purpose. Hmm, so it says, follow the hall on the bottom left of the screen until you reach a shaky bridge. I wonder if that's this one. Maybe. I don't think it is this way. The other thing I really do appreciate about this castle, though, is the encounter is not very high. And even if it is high, like, you could fight a ruby dragon, or you could fight, uh, the weird bat thing from the fire cabin's cave that dies in one game, like... And, of course, you can escape from where you fight, so really, like... As far as dungeons go, like, thematically, it's dope, but it actually kinda sucks. Because, like, it's not hard, I can escape from every fight, it takes away my abilities, but all I have to do is walk outside and I can get it back. Like, it's not difficult, you know what I mean? But yeah, I, mean, I don't understand why medieval castles have just empty rooms that are filled with like, paintings and furniture and stuff. Like, I never understood that. Like, you just, you just wasted all this money on a room that, like, you, you walk through. 
to get to your room that you're actually trying to go to. Like, just cut it out, you know? Cut out the middleman. Why do I step through this room to get to the ballroom? You're like, okay, just cut it out and put the ballroom there then. Like, come on. find this thing called the Shaky Bridge, but it's not very specific. Like, my book is weird. My book is, like, hella specific sometimes. Like, the Omega weapon section's, like, two whole pages. But then with this one, it's like, go to the bottom left of the screen. And I'm like, what? Okay, this is weird. Because, like, it says, like, from the front corner, follow the hall on the bottom left of the screen till you reach a Shaky Bridge. Like, what are these things? Oh, are these these little guys that the Ronaldo boss fight has? You know, the first time you like save a room from a couple of bugs. Why does this guy have so much defense? Holy. That other guy dropped like a sack of potatoes. Like 7,000 to the first one, 200 to the next. Alright, what's this way? This is black. Yeah, I don't think this is it, because that actually looks like where I fight Ultima Weapon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here, because this is uh, the fountain that's Yeah, this is the chapel. So yeah, that mist is Omega weapon. I mean, hell, if you want, you might be able to just walk up and kill Ultima, or Ultimisha, like, right now. Things are just up those stairs. This is the cathedral, so not here. Can I go down? Is down the direction? Is that allowed? Is there a door here? No? Okay. Oh boy. 
Okay, so it is the one up top. I mean, that make, that would make sense if it's that one. I figured it was that one. It seems like I couldn't do anything. Ooh, these guys kind of hurt. I think they're called Abaddon? Uh, maybe. I don't quite remember. <laughs> Crazy High almost had the entire beastie right now. Let me just go down and save real quick. Hold on here. Heal up, save. Take a break, like. Oh yeah, I've been running from a lot of fights, so my uh, seed ring drops. It, the, it doesn't like it, you running away from fights. random chance every second you have that it's like gonna happen kind of a thing yeah so it says follow the hallway down so you can just shake your bridge but like if I go in here I get to this and now I don't know what to do So it turns out I'm just a dumbass and decided not to explore everything, but it is in the chapel. You just gotta go up the stairs. <laughs> of course. Of course it's like that easy. But yeah, here we are on the bridge. There's a way. Whoop. No. Is it circle? Yeah, okay. So hold down circle and walk up to the thing. Maybe. Why is it not? There we go. Receive armor. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, back in the day used to be triangle, of course. So now, yeah, we gotta go all the way back down to the dungeon to go pop it in. I get lost so easy. Really? That thing that puts you to sleep. I don't even remember this name. Rat? It's weak to fire because it's a plant. Back 
back to the art gallery. <laughs> and I'm not even joking, that's the sad part. I think it's to the right. Like, my brain just, just doesn't keep maps of places. Like, it's just muscle memory. Like, that's how I get to work. It's just muscle memory. I just, I drive there, and it's like, okay, right, left here, another left here, then a right, and then I'm there. <laughs> Pretty much. There we go. I love how it's like art da gallery, dungeon, back to back. There we go. And now I can do this thing. Woo! I First try, guys. So now we're going to be fighting Gargantua. He's got 15,400 health. And yeah, no, of course he, he hits like a truck, of course, as well. Ooh. Oh, there we go. There we go. I was wondering what that level was. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, I ain't fighting you. Uh-uh. Oh, thank God. I was like, if he bad breaths me before I have to run away... Yeah, what is this lever? What's... What is he... Ooh, there's a drop hunter. What? No, lever. Why not? Uh, me. I really can't? Alright, fuck you. Fine. I'll just fight the face coming out of the floor. So yeah, it's just a face, a left hand, and a right hand. You want to pop the hands first. And you do all the magic, pretty much. And then once you kill the face and the two hands, Gargantua himself pops out in this whole... I wouldn't say person, but it's a whole, like, monster. Head, shoulders, knees, and head. Take the flex, alright, that's fine. Oh, it's protect, never mind. It's not gonna be as quick then. It's a lot easier than doing like 7,000 damage. Very depressed. Ooh, this. Yes. Yes. Oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, well, I like literally crawl and get out of That's good. Yeah, so this guy has help stabs attacks like berserk, so you make sure you can cure that, either with treatment or something. And I also love how hollow his chest is. That's so such a cool design. How much is that gonna hurt? It's okay, Dan. Alright, now what can we do? Let's uh let's do the training. Oh, Gilgamesh? Oh yeah, wow, dope. And then yeah, we'll just assume that we can have a lot of what you gonna what you gonna do to help me out? Yeah! I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Yeah, it missed. Doesn't that suck? This is why people hate Gilgamesh. Cause like, what the fuck? <laughs> Cause 
because like he could have done Excalibur and done like 5,000 damage, but he didn't. He decided he's on Tetsuya and just missed because he's a boss, so you can't just end the fight. But Gilgamesh has just a random chance once every encounter to do so. That's why people really don't like to get the He hasn't even done the one where he captured his dog. Yeah, because he's got this one where he throws a dog at you and it does literally no effect no damage. Well, maybe I'm just mixing him up with Gilgamesh from Final Fantasy X. That's possible. Um, do you have a Suna? I don't know. We'll just pour a scroll. I don't know. Making a big beefy boy. Search the fountain outside of it to find the treasure vault key. Anything else in here? He's losing a lot of stats because I keep using here on it. That is fine. Like I said, I'm so OP that you trying to go to.
background reflected this sticky icky. Is it still slow? So there's a treasure box puzzle. Your goal is to have all four boxes open at the same time. So, you and you are open right now. So number one moves one and two. Number two moves one, two, three. This one moves two, three, and four. And this one moves three, and four. So we're gonna shut this one. And we're gonna, if, like, again, if I didn't have this book, it would be impossible. Do this one. Now we're gonna go to two. Or get into a fight. Oh, two. oh, another little face monster. I just don't even know what those teeth things are. I know they just cast those. Yeah, anyways, now we're gonna do two, and now we're gonna do three. But so one, four, two, three, and we fight the upgraded behemoth Katzhoglepaz. Katzhoglepaz, however the fuck you want to call it. So this guy's got the most health, he's got 60,000. He's weak to earth and water. And he absorbs thunder. So again, just doom train him. Summon Leviathan if you want. Um, you can grab a meteor off of him. Game's almost not even fun, you know? <laughs> Alright, well, only two things left to go. Item, and then gotta kill one more boss to get draw. So I just gotta get TM on now, so we gotta climb the clock tower. Where the hell's the clock tower? Oh, gotta go back up to the chapel. Okay, makes sense. I 
Like, I could do almost this entire castle with one party. Why do I need to be switching out all the time? Mmm, so that's what the elevator's hall is for. It's for the Rosetta Stone, which gives you an ability to find a floor. Huh, my big book did not tell me that. Right as I say it. That's great. Ooh, it's a Wendigo, too. Run away. Just, just, like, don't even... Oh, thank God. Like, Wendigo can literally one-shot him. They're, so, they're, they're that weak. Selfie still has her basic baton thing, her basic moonshot. I don't think I upgraded it at all. I still need the trophy for a thousand kills, but god, I don't want to do it. Like, I'm killing him two or three at a time, man. Alright, so now that we're here, I we can go out ah, this way, yeah, because I have yet to go up this way. This is cool. I really like that as, like, a screenshot. Ooh, save point. Hello. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Yeah, there we go. And then I raise the girls up. And then we switch out, and they then they go. Saying something about a letter in here? 
I'll see you later. So wait, uh, head left, grab the key, and return, oh, return to the party switch point. Ah. I gotta go back to- oh, so that's the lever in the prison cell, okay. Which, the dungeon is back in the art gallery. Oh, God. The amount of back and forth. Like, up the stairs, down the stairs, switch parties, go back down the stairs, like... Oh boy. For some reason I remember those things hit my truck. Alright, here's the floodgate lever that I can now use, so I'll throw it open. I don't know what that does. So now we gotta go back to the chapel. out another hit of damage every time I get hit. Alright, and then back down we go.
now we gotta go over here and play the organ. So the only way to do it is to pop all of them at the same time. Should be good enough, and then there should be some torches lit, I guess, is what it's saying. Follow the lamp lit arches in the upper right corner, see if you're successful. Yeah, there we go. Because that was closed before, if you remember. Enter the waterway, but I messed up somehow. But anyways, you're supposed to go this way, follow this up, climb that ladder, and be able to get to it. But it looks like it's not quite working. Hmm. But anyways, that's how you get the Rosetta Stone somehow. Probably. Anyway, we'll see. Let's try it again. Tiamat first. Let's go kill Tiamat and see what happens. Like, cause that might be why. So Tiamat's just right up here. And then across this rickety old bridge. Let's go down and see what happens. So it's just right here. I guess if you, um, this is for if the key falls down, you can just climb down the ladder. Okay. Yeah, that's actually weird. Ah, fish!
If you guys ever played uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia on the PSP, this clock tower is actually a level for uh, one of the fighting arenas. That did not look right. Wow. And there's Tiamat. Well, pretty cool dragon. He's got about 90,000 health, he's strong versus fire and thunder, and immune to wind. So of course, start the battle by summoning Dude Train. Heart, give it to me. Still nothing? Wow, twice in a row. I mean, he's dead. But... Come on. I wanted to be cool. They always give me a blast. That's it for all the bosses. So yeah, only things we have left to do now is somehow figure out how to get that goddamn Rosetta Stone, kill Omega Weapon, and do Ultimisha. That pretty much is it for Ultimisha's castle. Let me figure out real quick what I did wrong for that Rosetta Stone, and then we'll finish this up. Alright, so I figured out what was wrong with my Rosetta Stone thing. So I came down here and I used the key on the thing which just unlocked it, but you gotta click it again to pull the lever. I'm a dumbass. Because of course it drops the floodgate and now I can get through. So now we just go all the way back up to the chapel, take that right path. 
and then it, it, I should just be able to walk over and get the Rosetta Stone and pick that up. Really? One throw stable? Are you gonna cast level 5 death on me? I've just gotten into a fight with this random enemy to cast level 5 death on all my characters and I immediately died. I had no death resistance whatsoever. So I had to like completely redo the whole Rosetta Stone thing. Like I haven't killed Tiamat yet. Like I, I haven't saved in a while and that was my bad. Always, always save. Save every like 20-30 minutes, even probably more than that. Like, it's an RPG. I really should have, but I was real cocky because I'm just killing everything in one hit. So, I went over to my junctions and I put a full 100 death resistance on all of my characters. I need to do that for Omega Weapon, anyway. Because he casts level 5 death, but yeah. I just, I, I don't know, I was just steamrolling everything together. They had first strike and that was just his first spell. It just dropped me. Ah, oh, this long-ass walk. Nothing straightforward in here. Everything's topsy-turvy. Even the staircase is crooked. Click all four buttons at the same time. And now we walk back outside and go over here. That didn't quite work, it looks like. Although I could totally slip through those bars, but you know, it won't let you. Let's try that again. Like I was able to do it first time. That thing is so gross, like, it used to be just a face in the ground, which is fine, it's creepy, but it's fine. And now it's like this egg sack looking thing, you know? There we go. Yes, there we go. Now we just follow this down. And there it is on the ground. Boom! And that's how you get the Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone, if you don't remember, it gives you the ability times four, which, like for Squall, for example, it gives you a, it gives you four of these, which is just super useful on everybody. Like I have it on Zell right now, but yeah, it's just good on absolutely everybody because it just gives you a little bit, just one more thing that you can do, like auto potion or auto spell, like something. But anyways, that's going to be it for Old Tamisha's Castle. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I know that was a really, really long video. I was just trying to get all of it in one go, pretty much. Uh, but if you liked that and you want to see more, as always, hit that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell for some more notifications. Next up, we're going to be fighting um, Old Tamisha, and then we're going to be going back and doing Omega Weapon. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.